I'm thinking, well, what are my other options in Colorista in order to desaturate in, you know, a particular color? And we can come into the keyer. So let's do that. Let's come into the secondary keyer. And what I can do is this is the area that was being desaturated. So now I've got this block here and I can tell it to, and I'm seeing, you know, what the blues are that I'm desaturating. And I think I want to include these, this in here. And I want to add this in here. And get a little bit more of that back there. And let's increase the softness of the the blur, and then I'm going to tighten it up a little bit. What I'm going to do is expand it out, make it a little fatter. So that's just by by bringing the whites down, we're thickening it up. If I were to put this back and then just bring the blacks up, we're thinning it out. All right, so I want to bring the whites down to thicken it up quite a bit. All right. And so now I have uh, I have this keyer set. There's no power mask. I'm gonna say you know use only the key. I'm not. I don't have a mask on that I want to isolate within that. And let's see what happens when I desaturate this now. I want to bring it all the way down just to see what happens. And you see this is nice and clean. I mean it's it's freaking gorgeous. Let's bypass it. All right, so that's before the keyer desaturate, and that's after the keyer desaturate. For now, I gotta say, um, I'm not, <laughs> especially on highly compressed footage, I'm gonna be very, very wary about doing anything but maybe very slight little moves in here. Uh, I've tried this on a number of different pieces of footage uh, since I first discovered this, and I'm finding on this H.264 originated material, it acts a lot like in color there's the luma curves, which I don't touch, because they do the same thing. All they do is accentuate the macro blocking. And but you can see the keyer here is I mean it's you know, it's it's beautiful.